All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf that would die, the house of David, the elect, the brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. Uh, shalom to the Akim Wa'ath Watts. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be uh, tuning in, learning, and studying under the vibration. Of Yahabashim Al Shai. This is the brother Taza War Bonaparium from the GMS Boston Camp back with a quick lesson through the Spirit to give warning as we as uh, I was ordained to do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Once you have this light, this knowledge, this wisdom and understanding, and be able to uh to prophesy and give warning to the house of Israel, you know, from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. The Lord said he'll do nothing but reveal of his secrets amongst his servants, the prophets. He'll put his words in our mouths to speak the words of prophet, prophecy to the house of Israel, to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that's a job, a task, a reasonable service, a duty that we must have, that we have to do, man. So again, hey, man, we in these latter days, these last times, the Lord left these signs, these wonders, and these clues. And we're here to give you that warning to get right and repent and seek your house by Shem Al Shah before the evil days come not, man. So uh, I got up from endtimeheadlines.org. The heading reads, a great swarm of earthquakes off the Washington coast is raising concerning that the Casada suction subduction zone could blow. Hey, and this is one of the major signs and clues that the Lord uh, told his disciples of his uh, of his second coming, you know, and, and this is a time. That we know that the Lord is about to visit the world which he made through these storms and tempests, these earthquakes, these volcanoes, um, you know, what they call Mother Nature or natural disasters. We know those as judgments or plagues of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You know, the Lord is ready to, 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 to drop the hammer uh, and show his power and bring great death and, and, and calamity to the earth and mainly to Babylon the Great, man. So it behooves you to get right. So before we get to this article, let's get it, man. Second Ezra chapter 8, and I'll start at verse 61. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not shown unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me uh, the multitudes of the wonders, which thou will begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not showed me. See, so we know the judgment of the Lord is now at hand, and he's talking to Ezra, man. He's only going to show these signs, these clues, man, you know, these mysteries, the, 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 the knowledge and wisdom and understanding to a few men like Ezra. And ultimately, these are prophets. These are the Hebrew Israelites, man, the, 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 the prophets of the Lord, man. You know, so I'll read 63 again. Behold, O Lord, now has now has thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou will begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou has not showed me? Uh, skip over to uh, the next chapter, Second Ezra 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin, will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things, from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and of endings in effects and signs. See, so hey, we in the times, man. Wherefore we seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. See, this, this is part of these wonders and powerful works of the end, man. The end is now being made manifest. And this is a clue, man. It says a great swarm of earthquakes off the Washington coast is raising concerns that the Casada subduction zone can blow. Hundreds and hundreds of earthquakes are shaking as area off the coast of Washington state. So it is an so this is an indication of potential trouble for the Casada subduction zone. At this point, there is so much that we don't know. Scientists are telling us that the quakes are centered around a large underwater volcano. The underwater volcano does not pose a threat at all. But if an enormous earthquake along the Casada subduction zone were to trigger a, a giant tsunami that slams into the west coast, 
that would be a historic disaster of epic proportion. Hey, it's ultimately of biblical proportion. This is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And it's been multiple and multiple, as it says here, hundreds and hundreds of earthquakes shaking around this area, man. Hey, the Lord's about to bring judgment. And this is why we tell you uh, uh, to repent and seek after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power, man. The Lord is not coming with peace and safety and love, man. The Lord's about to bring great death and judgment to the earth, man. He's furious, man. He says he's going to bring plagues. Real quick. Real quick. Staying on 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra 15. And I'll start from the top. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. See, so this is our job, man, to speak in the ears of the Lord's people, which is you Israelites, you know, the words of prophecy, man. The Lord's putting his words, his spirit in our mouths, man, you know, and we're here to give you warning that the, ju the day of the Lord, judgment of the Lord is coming. He's about to, the highest is about to visit the world, which he made, man. You know, and we're not supposed to care about you non-believers, you, you naysayers, you scoffers, you scorners. Your unbelief is not supposed to uh, straddle us from, from not being confident of teaching what we, uh, these prophecies, man. So we're here giving you warning, you know, and if you don't take heed, hey, it says the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, you know, but behold, said the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Hey, these earthquakes, these calamities, these uh, potential uh, uh, tsunamis and, 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 and quote-unquote natural disasters, these are part of plagues. You know, these are part of the destruction and death that the Lord's going to bring on the earth, man, because there's nothing but wickedness. And that's, and that's the reason, man. I mean, that's what we're here giving you warning, you know. So this ain't mother nature, man. This is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's about to bring judgment, as you can see in this image. That's a beautiful picture, man. Hey, man, to that West Coast, man. But it's going to happen throughout the four corners of the earth, you know. But, hey, Babylon, a.k.a. America, man, it has the bullseye of Yahweh Bashim Shai. He's going to destroy it off the face of the earth with them thermonuclear missiles from World War III. But prior to that, but prior to the missiles being shot from the silos and hitting uh, America as ground zero, there's going to be plagues. There's going to be... Uh, 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 Natural disasters, pestilence, famines, uh, war, civil civil unrest, destruction that's coming to the earth, man. So it behooves you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, to get right. Get right with Yahweh Bashim al Shai and repent, man. But let's continue back into the article, man. Because these uh, uh, earthquakes and these quote-unquote natural disasters, man, they're coming frequently and they're 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 saying it, his historic disaster of epic proportion but we know it's going to be apocalyptic uh 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 levels you know of biblical proportion man because it's all prophecy in the scriptures man continuing on the frequency of the earthquakes that we are witnessing off the coast of washington is extremely alarming it is being reported that earlier this month there were as many as 200 in a single hour that's crazy man so imagine those that's living in the west coast have to experience 200 back to back to back to back to back earthquakes in just an hour man that just could bring fear and frightening you know it could be frightening hey the lord's about to show his power and his terror you know, people, hey, man, that's why it behooves you to repent, man. Continuing on, scientists have detected a great swarm of earthquakes off the coast of Washington, clocking as many as 200 in a single hour during one day. That's lots of quakes. According to one of the experts that has been monitoring this area, there were over 2,000 earthquakes in a single day. Wow. That's, hey, hey, that's a love you. How about Shemi Awashai? It's about 10 times as active as it normally is, said Jesse, Jesse Hutchinson, uh, a junior staff scientist of ONC, an ocean observation facility based at the University of Victoria. He said more than 2,000 earthquakes have been detected in one day. Why haven't we heard more about this? Hey, man, because ultimately these big media outlets, hey, they're trying to keep everything under wraps, man. 
They don't want to bring. Uh, uh, they don't want to uh, uh, to bring uh, fear or, or nervousness or, or petrify the people, you know, or make people panic. Cause it'll be utter chaos. Hey, but hey, this is why we, the Lord have left His servants to to and His prophet uh, His prophets to give you this warning, man. We're not gonna uh, uh, to sugarcoat this, man. This is all of the he the heavenly Father. The judgment of the Lord is soon about to come, man. And it's nothing that these. These, these these heathens, these people in high places can do to stop the prophecies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Um, I'll read one more uh, uh, paragraph. If I were living in the West Coast, I would definitely want this to be in the news. We are being told that this great swarm of earthquakes potentially means that a magmatic rupture is imminent. Hey, man, so destruction is inevitable, man. You know, earthquakes, and it says it's going to lead to a volcano and tsunamis. That means great death is coming, man. And we've been here giving you warning that great death is coming to the earth, man, and mainly America, you know, as a judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let's get Isaiah, um, Isaiah 29 and uh, 6. And it reads, uh, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise, with storm and tempest and a flame of a devouring fire. See, so this is what the Lord is also bringing on the earth, man. That storm, that tempest, the hurricanes, the thunder and lightning, uh, earthquakes. Again, over 2,000 earthquakes in a single day, man. Hey, the, the Lord is not to be messed with, man. The Lord is to, ought to be feared, man. It says great noise. You know, in a flame of devouring fire. When you see these wildfires happening, hey man, that ho that normally happens out there in the West Coast, man. Las Vegas, Oklahoma, um, uh, Northern California, hey man, that's a devouring fire. And we ultimately know through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Shah, that that ultimate fire is uh, uh, them thermonuclear missiles, man, hitting Babylon the Great, man, which is gonna cause that lake of fire as well. But hey, ultimately, this is the 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 the, the Lord visiting the earth, which He made. Uh, Isaiah twenty eight and two. Behold, the Lord have a mighty and strong one, which the tempest of hail and destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. Hey, Amen. See again, so this tempest, this hails, this uh, destroying storms, you know, flooding, mudslides. Uh, earthquakes, wildfires, tsunamis. These is all of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And this is the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai casting into the earth, man, as a judgment, man. And that's the, that's what Yahweh Shai uh, uh, left these signs and wonders and clues, man. I'll close it out with this Matthew uh, 24 and 3. And it reads, and, uh, and uh, Matthew 24 and 3, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And we're in the time of the beginning of sorrows, man. We're in the time of war and rumors of war, famines, pestilence, and earthquakes. Earthquakes, great swarms of earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So we know that uh, the scriptures are a living and faithful book, man. As I read in 2nd Ezra 15, verse 2. So it behooves you to get right, man. To fear Yahweh of Hashem Yahushai. Repent before the evil days draw nigh, man. What's that? Um, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1. Remember now the creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasures in them, man. So seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai before these calamities come, man, because it's only going to intensify. It's only going to get worse, you know. It, it, it said in this past year, it was roughly, what, 200 earthquakes in one single day, then 2,000. So just imagine in these latter times, man, it's going to happen at a, a 
uh, consistent and uh, intensified frequent rate, man. So it behooves you Israelites, again, to get right. Don't, I'll, I'll read it. Don't put off, man. Don't tarry, man. You, you should seek the Lord now, man. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 7. And I'll close out with this. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So once you hear this word, this warning, these epistles from, from, from the prophets, from the apostles, the bishops, the elders and brothers on down, man. It should behoove you to get right immediately. And, and get right and repent and seek your Yahweh Shem Yahushua ten times more, because if you put off, if you're thinking that you still have time and you're just gonna uh, uh, naysay or you're just gonna neglect what the prophet's been telling you and warning you, hey man, death will be coming, man. As it says, then suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security, thinking you you good, thinking you in a peace and safety state of mind, thinking that no danger or harm could come your way. Then shall thou be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So with that, man, I pray everything was edifying. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakah, Kodash, double honors to my apostles, to the elders and bishops of Great Millstone and Ruel that taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to the Bayaf Dawadah, the house of David the elect. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.